Uh, what is up everyone, I am Demon Cringe, and you know how there's some really bad looking cartoons out there, whether it be budget constraints or they were simply trying to freak us the hell out, there are some cartoons out there that are so bad it really makes you wonder how the hell they got past episode 1. So everyone, today I'll be talking about the first CGI cartoon on this show, and you know the golden rule, if you want to make a CGI cartoon, you better have either one of two things, a big movie budget, or a well-trained professionals, or it'll just look cheap and ugly. And if you don't believe me, just compare the How to Train Your Dragon movies to the TV show and uh, it's basically a night and day difference. And if you don't believe me, just compare the How to Train Your Dragon movies to the TV show and it looks basically like a night and day difference. Also, this cartoon pretty much came out in the era of uh, when all things CGI without a movie budget were ugly and honestly, the name of this show sure is fitting, ladies and gentlemen. This is Butt Ugly Martians. Yep, just like I said, the name is actually very, very fitting, and honestly folks, with a name like this, I really do wonder if the studio that actually made the show was taking it seriously. Maybe one day they'll just come out and say, hey everyone, this was all a huge joke, this cartoon was basically just an experiment because we wondered how bad we can make a show before it gets yanked off the air, and honestly, it really does seem like that. And hilariously enough everyone, okay, hilariously enough, this show actually got cancelled in less than three months, yes from uh, January 26th to March 4th of 2001, with only one season and just 26 episodes. Again, really makes you wonder how it got past episode 1, honestly. So, Butt Ugly Martians was about uh, three Butt Ugly Martians uh, tasked by the Butt Ugly Emperor Bog to invade Butt Ugly Earth, but instead, they don't want to invade, they just want to have fun, and they end up befriending three Butt Ugly Teenagers. That's the overarching plot of the show, with the episodes being one-offs, and uh, I really don't know if the show actually had any multi-part episodes, as I really don't remember it all that well and frankly I don't care. Oh and another thing I actually forgot to mention in the overarching plot, uh, they also have to hide their you know fun loving actions from the butt ugly Emperor Bog so he doesn't find out and uh, basically has them all executed. Now the characters themselves really weren't anything special, the human characters on one hand uh, barely had any differences in their personalities at all and the Martians while they were different uh, they were also pretty uh, pretty samey and all that plus the writers were uh, pretty much totally out of ideas when they actually named these characters. Like, get, get this, folks. These characters had such beautifully original and uh, totally catchy ass names, such as Bebop Luna, Shaboom Shabuma, Tutti Fruity, and uh, Dua Diddy. And yes, everyone, I'm not kidding you. They actually, uh, they actually named the characters that. Can you believe it? So, the very first of the Martian characters, Bebop Luna, which honestly sounds like a woman's name, you would think that you would name a female character Luna, but what do I know? I'm just a random fuck on the internet. Anyway, Bebop Luna is the leader of the Martians, and he is also the one that comes up with the cover story whenever the uh, evil emperor comes to call and, uh, you know, to check on their so-called invasion. Tutti Frutti is actually voiced by Rob Paulson, if you can believe that. Uh, he is the tech guy and the inventor of BKM, and if you notice that during the intro they end up saying uh, BKM all the goddamn time, which basically means butt-kicking mode. They go into that mode whenever they suit up. They're, those are basically their uh, combat suits or whatever. Dua Diddy is the fat one, but also the strongest of the Martians. He is kind, always sees the good in people, and also has a crush on Angela, one of the human characters. Another character called Shaboom Shabuma is one of only two female characters on the show and she is a woman Martian secret agent who is directly, uh, you know, spying on the uh, Martians. Although she actually does know that the Martians defected it and uh, kind of wants to join them. But unfortunately she cannot join the Martians because it will be all too suspicious for the evil Emperor Bog and all that. And yes, uh, Emperor Bog, now we gotta talk about him. Honestly, he really doesn't have anything else going for him other than being the typical uh, cartoon villain and all that. He just wants to dominate, uh, take over Earth and blah blah blah. You get the picture, you know, typical... Uh a typical uh, mustache twirling villain and all that. Now we move on to the human characters, starting off with Mike, who honestly looks like a woman. I do think that the character design has kind of failed anatomy. And uh, Mike is actually supposed to be the leader of the humans, but uh, he is just a typical teenager. And just like Bebop Luna, he likes to take charge and, you know, act as the leader. So 
uh, yeah. Cedric, whose hairstyle looks just like Mike's, is the youngest of the three, and he is the tech guy that is obsessed with money. Angela is the third of the teenagers and is the only human female on the show and always tries to be the voice of reason. She is also really great at video games, which Mike really hates because she always beats him. Angela actually does know that Dua Diddy has a crush on her, but uh, we never really found out as the show was cancelled. Oh, and by the way, even though the show actually tries to paint them as heroes, they actually kidnap Jimmy Neutron's dog, so uh, yeah. So, like I said, the characters really weren't anything uh, all that amazing, especially the human characters, because they basically... The human, uh, the three teenagers, uh, they're basically like the human versions of the Martians, with like one extra trait uh, thrown in there, you know, that. As for the story of the cartoon, it did have an overarching premise, like I said, uh, with the episodes being one-offs, and uh, like I said again, I really don't know if the show actually had any multi-parters, and honestly, I really don't have the patience to go through it again. Keep in mind, folks, these episodes were over 20 minutes, and I really don't want to suffer that long. The animation itself was uh, super, super horrendous, but you really don't need me to tell you that. Like, it honestly looked like amateur hour. And let's face it, folks, the 90s and early 2000s, you know, these two eras were like really, really bad for 3D CGI animation as it was just in its infancy. And uh, unless you had like a huge movie budget, like multi multiple like millions of dollars, like Toy Story, for example, uh, it always turned out ugly compared to uh, today where amateurs on YouTube can make really really good animations with awesome programs such as SFM and Cinema 4D. Now I really don't need to say anything else and I really do think that this episode is going to be a little bit short. Uh, honestly this show, this cartoon actually had a pretty decent concept honestly but it's just uh, it was executed so badly like the name was the obvi an obvious giveaway I mean come on. Uh, but the show you know uh, other things were like really lackluster writing. Uh, copy paste characters like a really really uh you know amateur hour animation like honestly i think this show would have been a whole lot better if it was like 2d they actually did try to do some different stuff with the characters you know like subplots like for example the whole uh, do i did he having a crush on angela but uh, it really didn't go anywhere because the show ended up getting canceled because it was so bad and uh yeah cancelled in less than three months. It will go down as one of Nickelodeon's worst shows ever and those are all the reasons why Butt Ugly Martians is one of the ugliest cartoons ever. Anyway everyone that about wraps it up for this episode. I know it was a little bit short but honestly what else can I say about this? Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon and if you wish to support me in a different way my Patreon link is in the description below and as always I'm Demon Cringe. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.